So there you are enjoying your brand new OLED monitor and it couldn't be any better. Ooh, what's this? Somebody told you that there could be VRR flicker. What is it and will you ever be able to enjoy your monitor again? Well, thankfully the answer is yes, but let's actually discuss today what is VR Flickr? What could potentially make it happen? And how can we actually fix this? Now I have the Witcher 3 open right now. And as you might notice, there's a little bit of flickering going on on the camera. Now I will let you know that in person, I really can't see this, but any flickering at all will be picked up by the camera very, very excessively, which makes this great for showing the issue. Now, right now I'm running this game unlocked and the reason as to why there might be a slight amount of flicker right now is because, well, for whatever reason, OLED seems to have more issues trying to drive the voltages at a certain level when VRR or variable refresh rate, or you might know it as G-Sync or FreeSync is active. There's a lot of complexity of trying to drive monitors at variable refresh rates and on OLED in particular, it seems to struggle with this issue. So that's what it is. That's why you might be seeing some flickering, especially in dark scenes with brighter highlights. That's definitely gonna be the most severe portions where you might notice this issue. But what I'm gonna show you right now, guys, is that this actually can be fixed. So if you actually go ahead and go into your display and lock the frame rate to say, oh, I don't know, 75 FPS, because maybe that's all my hardware can handle. And if we take a look here now, well, there should be very little to no visible flickering whatsoever and our issue should be fixed for the most part. And the reason as to why this will most likely fix a lot of flickering is there's something about the variable refresh rate of VRR that causes it to be a big issue, as I mentioned earlier. So locking it to a stable frame rate within your G-Sync range can certainly go a long way into fixing or greatly reducing the flickering you might see. But I've found a way to make this even more apparent by kind of bugging out the game with an NVIDIA overlay. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, yes, the flickering is very, very intense. So what do we have to take away from this? OLED can have a flickering problem and it's going to be apparent in dark scenes as you're seeing right now. However, locking your frame rate can go a very long way into fixing that problem as long as you lock it to something you can consistently achieve. And another thing you have to look out for is is the game bugged or is there some sort of an overlay that I'm running that's causing the game to be bugged out? And that's something you'll definitely wanna check for. So there you go, I've relaunched the game, I've got the frame rate capped, and as you can see, there's almost no flickering visible whatsoever. Really great to see there that we were able to basically entirely eliminate that problem. Again, there might be some stuff popping up in the camera, but in person, I literally cannot see anything right now. This has been, for all intents and purposes, entirely fixed. Now, one other thing I wanna leave you guys with before you start trying to blame OLED flickering as the problem is that, like I mentioned, not only did we go over locking your frame rate, not only did we go over not using certain overlays with certain games as that can have compatibility issues and cause flickering, but the last thing you do wanna be aware of is what is the VRR range of your actual monitor? Now, a lot of these 240 hertz monitors might be 48 to 240 hertz. And if you hit 240 hertz, you'll start tearing. So you actually have to lock it to 225. So really your G-Sync range may only be active from 48 to 225. And if you go above or below that, you may see issues, whether it's tearing or flickering. So keep that in mind that yes, VRR is a great technology, but it has limits in a lot of games and other applications. So please check your VRR range and stay within it. Make sure you're checking, again, your overlays and all that stuff, capping your frame rates. And if you do that, I don't think you'll have any noticeable issues with VRR Flickr on the majority of good OLED displays on the market. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin flexible 
affordable and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.